In this facility in Germany, all kinds of explosive ordnance used for military purposes in a number of countries are destroyed, including cluster bombs. If these are kept beyond their expiry date, they are too dangerous to be stored in weapon stockpiles which contain billions of these devices. But what can be said about such precautions in light of the thousands of victims of these weapons? Deployed for the first time by the Soviet and German armies during the Second World War, cluster bombs have been widely used ever since. A total of 440 million have been dropped since 1965. These attack weapons are, in theory, used against military targets. Once released, it is impossible to control their trajectory and they land indiscriminately on both their military target and civilian areas, killing and maiming the people who happen to be there. Designed to explode on impact, 5 to 30% actually remain intact. Not only intact, but also dangerous, as they may explode at any moment. At least 29 countries and territories in the world are affected by the presence of unexploded submunitions following periods of combat. Nearly 40 years after bombing raids, Laos is one of these areas. ไปอีกอันเท่าเท่าดําเท่าปุ๊บบ่แตกกิ่งไปพุ่งอีกเท่าดําไปจับเอาอีกอืมมาทีมนี้นี่แหละจ้ะอันเท่าเท่าดําว
دي من قد مات دي من من الله وقصوا هي من وصاب عدني اثنين وهذا الاخ انقطع منا هم عنده بعد عملية يعني لحد ما نحن صرفنا عندنا وما عندنا حتى غراض بيتنا معنا The military value of a weapon that has such a high failure rate is subject to much debate. Submunitions which do not explode on impact have similar consequences to anti-personnel landmines. In human terms, the consequences are clear. 98% of known victims are civilians. In 60% of cases, the incident has taken place in the course of normal daily life. In Iraq, more than 50% of the victims of the bombing raids were children. To deal with this scourge, long-term programs to help victims, raise awareness of the risks and carry out mine clearance work must be set up. Handicap International is or has been carrying out this type of work in a number of affected countries, Afghanistan, Laos, Kosovo, Lebanon and here in Iraq. How do you work? I mean, how do you progress? Because it's, it's so big. Yes, we are... I don't know. But she, it is people, you know, I'll, before three days, four days, I'll come here to explain the situation. We have found lots of cluster bombs. We have a lot of indication. I put this in my report. It's in the top high priority for uh, for cleaning this area. I'm sure. It's I, because it's, it's many, 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 look at this, many children no. living here, many children walking Hard here. Hard here. Hard here. Look at Hard this. Hard Every way is cluster bomb. Impossible, impossible, impossible to... to Working in this field, it's blocked. These indiscriminate weapons also have an economic impact in regions that are already devastated by conflict. How can people rebuild when simply going about their daily life exposes them to serious risks? Uh, this was located by a survey team. So some of the USO that we found here, so just uh, moved by uh, the village. Yeah. From the rice paddy. From the rice paddy. Paddies and they put around here because it's very, it's very necessary because they need the land to plant the rice. Kahu di wala siyang to antalay, but man sa pa wala lam bang kap an nung setakit bo piang po la ha tok tam tong day ma yu chang si. Thang man wala antalay kaya jumpin tong yu ha thang lek bo day. أنا راعي ناجر عبرها على العنزات أول مرة طلعت بها العنزات بلغنا أنه في أنابل عنقودية وفي ألغام في شارقة اللي بها الأرض تطلع وتشلوها ما حدا كان يطلع ما حدا كان يصل عنين ثاني مرة طلعت بالعنزات كمان كمان نفس الشيء ثالث مرة طلعت فيها طلعت فيا نعم يعني لانه كان عندي شوية هالمعزة راح Along with victim assistance and demining work, prevention work amongst local populations to raise awareness of the risks should be carried out as soon as conflicts end. كمان في تو بغداد ماتنو اون رو كومونس ان اوتر فوا بور فير لي بلاص كي لافي تري امبورطون Par exemple, cette place, il y a beaucoup de gens qui passent d'ici. Il y a beaucoup de gens qui, qui viennent ici. Nous, on recommence de travailler à cette place. Parce qu'on aide les enfants. On aide les gens qui sont accidents avec. On aide les gens qui, qui ont de, de bombes à côté de Gizou. Ce travail, ça nous donne plaisir. Ça, c'est le bon travail, oui. Pas comme quand on fait la guerre, on fait le, de, de bêtises à la, à la roue, on... on on tue, on, on, on fabrique une bombe. Non, on, il faut qu'on lève les bombes. On, on aide les enfants, on aide les, les victimes qu'ils ont avec des accidents. Ça, c'est le bon travail. جنوبي من جنوب لبنان اسمي فضل علي حسن وها هو ابني موجود وأنتم شفتوه بإم العين 
أناشد الضمير العالمي لكي تفجر من قبل الجهات المختصة ويختصر موت أطفالنا ونساؤنا وكهولنا وشكرا لكم Thousands of kilometers away from Lebanon, Afghanistan or Laos, people are campaigning for these weapons to be banned. When you look at the problem of cluster munitions on the ground, you understand that the military use them as a weapon of convenience. They're always indiscriminate. They always breach international humanitarian law anyway when they're used. The problem is that they also fail. It's, a, it's an aspect of the weapon that's built into it that they're very unreliable. And when they fail, they cause a problem very similar to anti-personnel mines on the ground. That is that they kill people, they deny land, they cause a persistent and long-term problem. It's crazy that we spent years trying to get rid of anti-personnel mines and we now keep this weapon which is causing exactly the same problem. We have to ban cluster munitions and we need to ban them now. This call to ban cluster bombs is being echoed by thousands of voices across the world. Following the example of the international campaign to ban landmines who obtained a mine ban treaty in 1997, hundreds of organizations all over the world, including Handicap International, are taking action to stop the use, storage, sale and production of these weapons that continue the war when the war is over.